put the medicine. So, and the fact that I got it, I'm almost there. Yeah. Dale. Yeah. Okay, give me a shot. So, now, the bevel pointing circular. Just go in, and I'm right there. There's thick one. Aspirate. It looks good. A little dye. Nice. What do you think about that? Nice number, right? So we got C7, T1. Give me a shot, Come up with you. Come back a little bit. Earlier? Uh huh. So you got a little more. And put the medicine. So. And the fact that I got it at, at that level is great. That's good. They're ready. So give me a shot soon. No. I'm doing that on purpose. So if he moves on me, I'm almost there. I'm there. So, so we're for it. Why? So here you got a 62-year-old Hispanic male with a chief complaint of uh, left side of neck and uh, radiating arm pain. Uh, according to him, the pain was a 10 out of 10 on a 0 to 8 to 10 uh, pain scale. Uh, was described as electrical, it was described as shooting. So uh, we had done the physical therapy, he had done the anti-inflammatories, that didn't work. So what we're doing here is a fluoroscopic guided cervical uh, RACS procedure using the Rax catheter and as you can see here you could outline the C7 uh, T1 nerve root which is nicely highlighted. Uh, his diagnosis is uh, cervical radiculopathy and he's got cervical foraminal stenosis. What does that mean? It means that the little hole coming out of the cervical area, the neck area, are being obstructed so the nerve is being pinched. And that is a common finding, which uh, you can see in a uh, MRI of the cervical spine. So you could actually see the, the needle, you could actually see the catheter, and you could actually visualize uh, the nerve root at C71. I'm also going to show you, let me see if the other one is here. Okay. You could actually see now the catheter going in a cephalot, or should I say towards the head direction. And you could actually outline the C5, C6 uh, left-sided nerve root here.